What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are unboxing the new latest and greatest from Humminbird, the Explore series. This is the Explore 9. It runs right around $14.99 US cash with the transducer. I think $12.99 without the transducer, just the head unit only. This is compatible with the new Mega Live 2 and networks with Solix and Apex units with the new 5.060 update uh, firmware. Uh, I'm really excited guys. I got the Mega Live 2 coming. We're gonna start this baby up, unbox it, and check this thing out. All right, inside the box, we have the new cover. The rubber cover has a new design. You can see it's a lot different than my Solix unit back here. One thing I noticed right away, guys, is the weight of this unit is pretty heavy. I think the shipping said uh, 13 pounds. I know that comes with a transducer in this box, but this unit may be a little heavier than the Helix units that it's replacing. First, we're gonna pull out the unit, take a look at it. It is considerably smaller than my old Helix 9, um, and it's got some weight to it. Very cool. You can see the back of it here, guys. It's got some cooling fins back here. This is a, a quad four processor, so the speed is very fast. Let's see what we have in this other big box here, probably the transducer. We have the new transducer, mounting hardware for the transducer, new heavy duty power cable. I can see this is noticeably bigger in size for the power cable than the old Helix and even my Solix unit. The gimbal bracket. and the Explorer instruction manuals. We're gonna get this thing un unpackaged and we're gonna get it up on my HD Innovations uh, ice shuttle up there and we're gonna get this baby turned on and have you guys get a glance at it. All right guys, one thing I wanna talk about before we get this unit powered on is the power cable is enormous. The power cable almost weighs as much as the unit, is very thick. You can see my my Solix cable right here is the you know the average size that the Helix was as well. You can see that these two power cables together is twice the size. It also has three wires inside of it. It has a shield wire that is also going to be going that's going to be shielded to your boat, your ground under your chassis, your boat, wherever your boat is grounded to. Or in this situation, inside this HD Innovation shuttle, we're going to route this shield wire into our ground terminal as well, so it's grounded to the battery. All right guys, got the unit all wired up. It has a gray silicone cover now. It's really low profile. Uh, it's gray and white now instead of the black and white. Um, it's really low profile. I'm not sure how well it's gonna be trailered. Uh, it seems like it comes off really easy. It's very nice, it's really low profile. If you pull this off, you can see the width of it uh, compared to the old Helix and the Solix models. I'm gonna go ahead and power this unit up. See how long it takes to actually power up compared to the Helix and the Solix units. Uh, I know my Solix before the 5.060 update took about a minute and a half and is down to about 45 seconds. So we'll see if this is even faster yet. Brand new interface, crushed, uh, cross touch screen with the keypad. Uh, it's gonna be really nice compared to the old Helixes without the touch screen. Uh, it also comes with a Coastmaster card included that's already inserted in here which is going to give you most all the maps uh, for your lakes throughout the u.s starting up right now we're going to get a confirm key here in just a second hit confirm and we should be good to go Starts up pretty fast, I'd say 30, 40 seconds. Pretty similar to my Solix now after that new update. 
Uh, we have a home key up here, top left. That's how we're gonna get to our home key now. This is the new home page. We have my data, which is gonna have all your waypoints uh, inside of it. There's an exit button up here to get out of any screen you get into. These are your favorites. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial next week on how to create favorites. Uh, our one boat network here. Um, we can set it up to our phone right here, go through those tabs. Um, our favorites, keys right here, our views. We got chart, we can they have all different types of views already created. Our tools, this is gonna be uh, kind of like our menu um, with alarm, software updates, images that you've screenshotted, uh, fuel, uh, trip log, timer, GPS, record. It's a new feature on this Explorer. You can actually record, if you have an SD card inserted in here, you can record your screen live uh, for fishing videos or what have you. Um, should be another screen here. No. Um, new views. This is where you're going to create your new views. I'll be going over this next week. And your settings right here. This is going to have your sonar, my boat, data sources, system, your NEMA 2000 if you have it hooked up to your boat motor, and simulation mode. This is something really cool here, guys. You can start simulation mode. Um, you want your demo mode off and your simulation mode on and hit confirm, and that's gonna put you in a simulation mode and you kinda of see the pictures inside imaging and down imaging, things like that, so you can get used to your unit and changing the settings uh, out there in the water. Um, we're not gonna do that right now, we're gonna get into that next week. Um, let's just go over here to views, go to side imaging right here. Your menu now in this is gonna be this three little bar up here, and that is gonna give you your sensitivity and all that, which it also has uh, new on this unit is your quick sensitivity up and down and your your range uh, right here. Um, go down here to settings. This is going to give you the rest of your uh, settings here for that side imaging. No matter which screen you're in, 2D or down imaging, your settings for that is going to be right here now. So it looks really cool, guys. Uh, something, something really new. Uh, nice clear picture. Um, looks really good. Very fast with the touch screen. And, uh... All right, guys, quick little unboxing video here uh, with, you know, the startup of this unit. Next week, we're going to get into a full tutorial on how to navigate around this unit, uh, what all these keys do, how to set up some new views, stuff like that. So uh, please like and subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and uh, I'll be sure to answer them. So stick with us, guys. We'll get to you with a full tutorial next week.